Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. So as you guys know, I have been having quite an ish with my peas because since I planted them, they're constantly being cut down by cutworms and other insects, other pests. This is the only actual surviving pea plant that I have remaining. But if you take a closer look at the leaves, you will see that I am having an issue with leaf miners. So this is my first experience with leaf miners. And the peas are producing too. But since as I'm not a big fan of pea and this is the only surviving plant, the others are struggling to survive. And so I'm just going to uproot all of them because I can see that even these tiny ones have issue with the leaf miners. So rather than trying to treat the individual plants, there's not really much there to spare anyway so I'm just going to root them out and then I'm just going to the method I'm going to use to destroy whatever leaf miner is actually inside the leaf of the plant I'm going to put it in my black plastic bag that I put all the weeds in that way the plants will overheat in the plastic bag And as it overheats, it will kill anything that is in the leaf. Now that is not the only issue that my plants are facing. If you look at the top of this plant, you will see how the leaves are curling. And this is happening to quite a few of my plants. Look at my beans. And although we are experiencing heat wave, it's not the heat that is causing this because even on cooler days, it is like this. So there, and if you look at the leaves here, these ones are not too bad. If you look at these ones, then you see how bad the problem is. So. I did a bit of investigating because I've been trying to find out for weeks now what's going on, what is causing the plants to look like that. Even my tomatoes are showing similar symptoms. So after discussing it with various groups that I'm involved with, I get to learn that it looks like curly top virus. For my tomatoes, I was suspecting curly top virus, but I was not suspecting that for the peas because although both of them have the leaves curling, the, the look of the leaf, the appearance of the curl and the pattern of the curl is different. So I didn't suspect that it would be the curly top for the peas as well. And then I was told that curly top virus is caused by leaf hoppers so I did some research online to see what the leaf hoppers look like and as it turns out I have seen some of those creatures on my plants so 
here I am so I'm gonna to have to come up now with a plan to get these leaf hoppers under control once you have curly top virus then that's it you can't really do anything to get rid of the virus if the plant is producing then it will continue to produce but after that there is not much that can be expected from it so anyway um, just giving you an update on what is going on with my plants at the moment so as I devise a strategy to deal with this problem I will be doing another video so that those who may experience something similar may know how to take care of it so if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more updates like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day Yemen, a time for growth.